Hi, I've got a question for you. How many people here would say they can draw? <laughs> well, I think we've got about one or two percent of the hands going up. And it's interesting, isn't it? It's a little bit like um, people think of spelling um, or singing. They think, well, you can either do it as you, or you can't. And, but I think you can. Because when people say they can't draw, I think it's more to do with beliefs rather than talent and ability. So I think when you say you can't draw, that's just an illusion. And today I'd like to prove that to you. Now when I say draw, I'm not saying we're all going to draw like Michelangelo. <laughs> we're not going to be painting the Sistine Chapel ceiling. But would you be happy if, by the end of this session, you could draw pictures a little bit like this? Yes. <laughs> or even a little bit like this? Well, actually, there's only two things you need to do to be able to achieve this. One is have an open mind. Are you up for that? Yes. And two, just be prepared to have a go. So grab a pen and a piece of paper. <coughs> OK. So here's how it's going to work. I'll show you the first cartoon we're going to do, so just watch to begin with. Here we go. Just watching. That's going to be our first cartoon. It's a character called Spike. So I'd like you to draw along with me. So I'll draw the first line, you draw, and when you've done that, look up, and I know you're ready for the next line. OK. Here we go. Start with the nose. Now, the eyes, they're like 66s or speech marks. That's it. Next, the mouth. Nice big smile. Now, over here, the ear. Next, some spiky hair. Next, put the pen to the left of the mouth. Little line like that. Pen under the ear. Drop a line like that. Pen to the left of the neck. Top of the T-shirt. Line to the left. Line to the right. Just hold your drawings up and show everyone. <laughs> How are we all doing? <laughs> I've got pens with you. You've, you've, you've proved that you can... You've proved that you can draw, you're very welcome to take the pens with you and have a practice at home, even show somebody else. But actually, I'd like to leave you um, with a final thought. When you walked in here today, many of you didn't believe you could draw. And, you know, I've got a question for you about that. How many other beliefs and limiting thoughts do we all carry around with us every day? Beliefs that we could perhaps potentially challenge and think differently about. And if we did challenge those beliefs and think differently about them, apart from drawing, what else would be possible for us all? Thank you very much.